Happy New Year, family. Merry New Year, all that good stuff. Um, I made this video because I've been thinking about this for some years now. Um, once I once I came to learn about it, you know, and actually uh, the whole Fourth of July concept coming about. My son, um, my middle son's born on the Fourth of July, and so I, you know, I think about this a lot. You know, as I start, as I grow older. The fact that uh, the 4th of July is Independence Day for Americans at that time. You know, July 4th, 1776. And uh, obviously, we, we you know, as you know, as well as I know, that blacks, African slaves were not Americans. Were not considered Americans at that time. So it's funny how... Now it's celebrated by everyone because during that time, Africans, black slaves were in bondage, but Americans celebrated their independence from Great Britain, you know, and the Declaration of Independence obviously came along with that. But the blacks, African Americans, so to speak, or African slaves, excuse me, were still in bondage. And these Americans obviously came to start the 13 colonies because they were being oppressed over in Great Britain. So that's why they came here for that. So the hypocrisy is crazy that you would celebrate <laughs> your independence, but you're still enslaving people and oppressing people at the end of the day. So it's weird. So I, I as growing up and coming up, I would think like, you know, the black American, so to speak, takes part. In this holiday and or ritual of celebrating the 4th of July. When your ancestors were oppressed during that time. So it's, it's, quite, it's, it's quite weird. You know, we celebrate other holidays like St. Patty's Day, Valentine's Day. Um, Thanksgiving and even pagan holidays like Christmas, which we all know is a pagan holiday. You know, but we celebrate it anyway. But... The fact is, you know, Independence Day, so to speak, January 1st, which has been, I, I never really hear anybody talk about it, obviously with President Abraham Lincoln, with the executive order of the Emancipation Proclamation, which he, you know, let, let the uh, Confederacy know on September 22nd. 1862 that this order was coming about you know he issued a warning back then and that it would actually be signed and enacted January 1st 1863 which is the first day of the year but as African Americans black Americans but more so African Americans we never celebrate this as Independence Day and this all falls in line, this goes together with uh, Juneteenth, as you've heard, which is June 19th, 1865, which was roughly three and a half years later. Uh, well, two and a half years later, when the Texas finally came in the loop and freed the slaves, and well, all the slaves were free in Texas. Because obviously, with the Emancipation Proclamation, this all didn't happen overnight. The The word had to spread, you know... And slowly fell in line with all these things like that. And obviously we had the war and things of that nature. So. I just. It's just a video I just wanted to make to. You know. Ask everyone out there. Why is it that we don't. Give the Emancipation Proclamation any attention. As opposed to. The 4th of July. So I, I tend to think about that a lot. It. It. When I was growing up, I never heard anything about it. And I still, to this day, I'm a grown man. I still don't hear anything about it. About it being a form of celebrating. But, you know, Juneteenth is obviously a holiday. But the Emancipation Proclamation isn't. So, um, I just think we all should be aware of that. And it's something that might be subject to change, you know, as far as it being an Independence Day. I know Haiti, they celebrate their independence on January 1st as well you know but they won theirs obviously on their own they won their independence
from France. So, just a video I wanted to make. Uh, feel free to comment with your thoughts, all that good stuff. Like, share, subscribe. And um, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.